Hello, Mrs. Flinders here, founder of Pocket Private Tutor. I wanted to talk to you today about the Year 6 SATs. Now, if you have not had a child go through Year 6 yet, you may not know what the SATs are, so I'm just going to answer a few questions for you. So first of all, what are the SATs? Well, the SATs are standard attainment tests, and the purpose of them is to measure um, your child's understanding in three areas. We have maths, and then we have English, but the English is broken down into reading and then spelling, punctuation and grammar. When are the SATs? The SATs will be held in May 2022. And I have a um, diary in my Facebook group and also on my socials. If you follow Pocket Private Tutor, I have a breakdown of the dates the days that each test will be held. Those tests are held at the same time across the country. Obviously that then prevents people from being able to share the questions that are within the papers. Usually they're held Monday to Thursday and Friday, they usually have a day off the tests. Are the SATs important? In my opinion, the SATs are important. Are they the be and end all of your child's um, journey in education? Absolutely not. If they don't do as well in the SATs as they could have done, it's not the end of the world. But from my opinion, the SATs are really important. It's the first time your child is old, old enough to understand the importance of something they are going to be sitting for, to have that drive to want to do well and to put the effort in and then to see how that effort is reflected. Does my child have to sit the SATs? Now, um, the SATs are compulsory um, for year six, not for year two. However, if there are if there are certain issues, then I suggest you talk to your child's teacher and your child's head teacher to discuss if there are specific um, reasons why maybe your child um, would be better off not sitting the SATs. But as of um, 2021, they are compulsory, they are expected. How much do the SATs matter? Like I said before, it's a really good introduction for your child to um, sitting something that they have worked hard for and to be able to see how their achievements reflect their efforts. In terms of how much they matter going forward, the SATS results are looked at when they go to secondary school. Secondary teachers will look at it, but they'll also carry out their own baseline assessment. So if your child didn't um, sit their test well, lots of us that we don't have our true ability reflected in a test at the end of the day or sitting a test on one day, there's lots of reasons why um, it might not reflect your ability. Um, secondary teachers are not going to write your child off or judge them based on those tests. They're used as an indicator, but they will obviously be then tested again. How do you pass the year six SATs? Well, obviously you have to revise and you do have to spend time on revising, getting familiar. Your schools will have revision schedules set up. All different schools are different with how their revision schedules are set up. There is a wealth of resources on, on the internet to help with SATs revision. And if you come and join my um, Pass the Year 6 Maths SATs Facebook group, I go through lots of resources and tips specifically on passing the maths element. Pocket Private Tutor at this moment is all geared towards getting helping your child to pass the Year 6 maths. So um, you can have a look at my socials on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook. I share loads of maths tips. There is the math, yeah, Year 6 SATs Revision app in the app stores. Um, but on my, my Facebook group, I'll also share lots of other free resources that there are out there. There is a wealth of them on the internet. How are the SATs scored? So um, they're not only scored out of 40, each paper's um, scored out of 40, they have a score out of 100, and then it's then converted, um, and using a specific grading system, they'll decide whether your child has passed or not passed. Um, if you want to find out more, check out my blog. There's links in there to show you a breakdown of exactly how the um, scores are converted. What if my child is stressed about SATs? It's completely normal to feel a little bit stressed. Now, it's important not to confuse being stressed with needing to protect them from that stress, because actually a bit of, bit of stress 
is healthy for all of us. That bit of stress is that bit of motivating and that drive. However, it's down to us to kind of figure out when that stress has crossed over into being unhealthy. So what I always suggest is to think about why your child is stressed. Is it because they're studying too much? Is it because they are feeling behind, they need support? Do they need um, strategies for being able to relax? Do they need strategies for um, being able to calm down, to clear their minds? Do they need strategies for their memory? So really it's about figuring out why they're feeling stressed so then you can help support them with that. So you can read all of this in my um, Year 6 What Are The Sats blog on Pocket Private Tutor. I'll pop the link in the comments. Hopefully that's helped you, but you should be getting information meetings at your schools within the first few weeks of starting Year 6. Any other questions, happy to answer them, just inbox me.